Hey, I'm Chris, and I make furniture. In this series, I'll be designing and making a dowel wall for my sister and her partner. So far, we've had an initial briefing session and have drawn up the existing conditions. In this episode, we'll be starting on the concept design process. I started out by offsetting the perimeter of the wall. I roughly played with grid spacings until I got a grid that felt right. I tried out different hole sizes until the proportions felt right for the space. One of the things I thought worth exploring was a bench. Could the existing bench be replaced with something that could be folded away when not in use? I did some quick sketches exploring a folding mechanism, which looked promising so I modelled it up in SketchUp. I lined the wall with vertical battens with pivoting arms between that fold out to form shelves and seating for the bottom row. With the two initial concepts complete, I arranged a meeting with Emily and Ben. <laughs> Recording. Oh, cool. Well, adding paneling to the walls, mm -hmm. yeah. and then um, having perforations that can accept the dowels. Yeah, I think it's great. Lighting behind this panel so we can make it glow. Oh, cool. We would yes, definitely please. love Something that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, cool. and in terms of accessories, we've got these little shelves and yeah. then they can kind of sit down on the pegs. Ooh. So what prompted this was I was thinking about the sort of seating that you had mm -hmm. in the um, hallway. Mm. So I was thinking, <laughs> could we potentially have it so that you literally oh, like pull out a seat where you want it? Well, Oh wow. The height is kind of set, but the yeah. idea is you sort of pull it out anywhere you can put shelves all the way up. I wonder if it will feel, I don't know, mm, dense or something like too that. Much. Yeah, too busy for like the stuff we were going to put on it. The seat itself, we actually we don't use it. The cats use it. Oh yeah. And <laughs> I use it more as like shoe storage because it's mm -hmm. got that like Underneath. Both those concepts can be pushed further. They can be yeah. made less busy if you want it to look cleaner, like mm -hmm. less, um, you know, pivots. Yeah, I like the idea though of like somehow merging the two <laughs> ideas. Now we can try. <laughs> the, the footprint of the Dow wall feels safer to me, uh -huh. um, but the concept. Of the mm, matchsticks. More exciting. <laughs> yeah, way more exciting. The meeting went well. Nat and Ben liked elements of both proposals, so I developed the designs further. I explored the use of 5mm plate steel for the fold out elements and increased the spacing for a cleaner look. And finally, a concept which uses vertical slots to which dowels can be positioned at any height. Hey. How's it going? Good. Good. How was your Sunday? Yeah, pretty good. Cheers. Cheers. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> so what I've done is I've spaced everything out bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've also made it everything super thin. Mm -hmm. Oh, so wow. now it's like a steel. Oh. Oh. oh, so they're like little slots. Yeah. So that'll be out of steel rather than wood. Yeah. With wood <laughs> in between. Cool. Yeah, right. What this allows is it to be, it can be a lot shallower because yeah. it's steel. So as yeah. you noted, Ben, you'd need like a shelf or something to span across. Yeah. To create the seat or to create the shelf. That was the first thought. And then I've come up with a different one, which I think is actually stronger. Okay. okay. And that's uh, this one. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's so cool. So Holy this shit. concept, it's a different approach. I remember when we had our meeting, you said, 
when I mentioned light, you kind of got really excited about it. <laughs> so this one is really the light is the main focus. So it's yeah. taking that concept I just showed you and then sort of putting the focus on the light. Yeah, cool. And how it would work is there's these slots yeah. and the dowels would actually go into them and can slide and stop at any point wherever you oh want. Oh my God, that's so, so You cool. can achieve things like, like these angles yeah wow but the cat run <laughs> the cat run exactly that's amazing. Um, and you can just do pegs and put a shelf on top that's i did right. a quick test just sort of um proof of concept yeah so well that's so quick <laughs> this is just kind of stuff i had like a decade. Oh, and then you can slot this them in. Oh, and oh, wow. That's really cool. That's amazing. You just kind of. Yeah. That's it. That is so cool. What? How do you with this? Yeah, let's do it. You like that? <laughs> really yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's right. So yeah. that concept, material wise, will be a lot less. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go crazy with the steel, um, the lighting will be integrated. And it's really shallow. So I think I can get it down to 36 mil, maybe 50 yeah. mil, but definitely can achieve it within that 50. Yeah. 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 Mm. Right. Amazing. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're <laughs> we're down. down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm glad. So yeah. it's smart. It's mm. like it's got that um, still fairly minimalist. Yeah. yeah. You know, it won't, I feel like it won't make things unnecessarily mm. busy yeah and still very versatile with what heights we want things as well yeah instead of fixed locations either with the dowel or the um the little uh, falling sticks and the weight capacity for that would be around the same kind of like five kg do you think or would it be slightly possibly higher? more yeah oh really wow again not to stand on like a ladder <laughs> oh no no, no. We <laughs> but like the cats are like, yeah, that. like a climbing wall or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. That meeting went really well. Nat and Ben sounded like they're excited about the concept and happy to proceed. In the next video, I'll be developing the design and working on proof of concept prototypes. If you're enjoying this series, please hit the like button so that I can gauge your interest in the project and make sure to subscribe if you'd like to come along on this journey.